I welcome everybody. Today is January 28th, 2023, and this is our Heal, Teach, Love healing webinar for pets. I'm Deb Purcell. This is my husband, Rick. And after that very long video, you know who we are and what we do. And uh, our colleague, Phil, is with us as well. Phil, if you wanted to do any intro, go ahead. Yeah, I just wanted to say, uh, excuse the, I think we've got a visitor with a letter S. <laughs> so I'm not 100%. That's why the dog is barking. Uh, I've been healing for 52 years. Every week I learn something. And this week, what I did on Tuesday at the Eating Centre, I have put it on in the group. And I created like a, a light med bed using light. And it was like spiral circles going into the aura field and going out of the aura field, connected to my heart chakra, pumping in uh, different energies that, I, that the patient wanted. And uh, it completely busy. I didn't expect that. But this is what my aspects gave me. And I just wanted to say that you can all try some at me. Just try it. And uh, you, you, you'd be surprised what doors open by doing that. But I just wanted to say that. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. So over to you. Let's start this pet healing and the odd human at the end. Well, thank you all for joining us today. <clears throat> Our first one up for healing is uh, Chopper. Chopper. Okay. Can you see it? Yes, you can see him, actually. Do you need his eyes open? No. We've scanned him so many times. I know. Oh, sweet boy. And I, there's one problem particular, if you want me to mention it or not. That's fine. He has a polyp in his left nostril that is growing rapidly, hmm. and it's making him have a raspy breath in through his nostril. He wheezes through his nostril. Of course, his ears are infected, his hips, the yeast. His left nostril? His left nostril. Yeah, I see it. Well, he's got, I did healing. Um, I don't, I, I don't want to, I, I see the same thing. It's just his sinuses and the, the, the of course, the, the polyp didn't help. Um, the polyp's gone. Uh, All right. It's dissolved. He's now got healing energy through his whole sinus, his nose, through his sinus, into his ears, both ears. Yes. Down his spine, into his hips. Phil, have you got anything to add? Uh, I was, I, I got a, like an indigestion and it looks like a stomach problem. So I've been releasing that. Yeah. Uh, that's the first time I've actually got the uh, energy of the problem into me from an animal. So it's a new one on me. That. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. When they get uh, the, the dripping, then they swallowing and the mucus it upsets the stomach. Yeah. Um, I can imagine that. I, I was healing the stomach that one more than anything because I yeah. could feel it. It's, I'm getting messages from the Arcturians who are oh. scientists. They're very high. I think they're like 10th. Are they 10th dimensional beings? They may be higher than that. I can't. It doesn't really matter. They're um they're like scientists and and medical, and they're putting an energy in him. Okay. Oh. They're saying you may see a difference. It may take about 36 hours, but it may be shorter. Okay. I would like you to let me know how he's doing. I will let you after know. After that time. I will do that. Because I'm curious, because I did call them in. His left nostril, he's already, you, you don't hear the congestion in the left nostril, the blockage by the polyp anymore. Yeah. It's clear. Yeah. It is gone. Yep. Which is wonderful. Yeah. So very, very appreciative because it was growing rapidly. And the ears? Well, that's why they're putting in this energy because I asked them, the some, ears. something has to be done. This is just not fair. He's suffering so long with this. Boy, this is true. Boy. I know. He has how, old, how old is he now, Jackie? Twelve and a half. He's getting about the same age as us. Uh, Actorian's 11th dimension, by the way. Just okay. to be They're 11th, yeah. Okay, I knew they were. I thought they were 12th, but no, they yeah. said 11th. 11th. Yes. I, knew, I knew they had gotten to the 10th, and I, I wasn't sure if they had gotten higher. Okay. Anything Chopper wants to say? And, I'm sorry, say it again. Anything Chopper. Anything that Chopper wants to say. <laughs> See, I, I'm really tired today. The <laughs> energies are strong. He, he says uh, um, he's a little dizzy. I told him it's, it, it's the um, healing. And the energy that we've put in him that um, is, is sending him healing. He said he's very thankful. Mm -hmm. um, 
and he's not really been in pain. He said he's, he's because I asked him, are you hurting? He said, not really. Everything's been okay. Okay. Very good to know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very, good. Very good to know. I'm way away from the microphone. I'm sorry. That's, that's all right. That's all right. <laughs> But that's very good to know. That sounds like an excellent session. Yeah. Very, very good. And I will follow up and let you know. Okay. Yeah, he's saying, he's saying all good, all good. He's really, yeah, he's very happy. You know how much. Okay, I, I'm getting some meat. <laughs> he always, he is always hungry. I don't tell her that because she knows that. <laughs> chicken, 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 Ooh. chicken. I was going to say chicken. Yeah. Yeah. Chicken. yeah. He can smell it he from loves, one end of the house to the other. Yep, he loves to eat. But look at the size of him. He loves food. <laughs> he does, does. His stomach issue, um, you could, the sign is strange, but he, the oil of oregano, I've been giving him five drops at each meal. So that's two times a day. Pretty strong. I mean, it, you know, I could, the vipers burn my eyes. Um, it's a lot more, it's, it's, I think it's a, it's better than um, a regular antibiotic. Okay. Which is Good why order. we switched him off of uh, pharmaceuticals to that. Okay. Um, you may want to see how the healing energy does for him, and he may not need it anymore. Okay. Let's see how he does um, with the energies. And then, say, in a day or two or three, see how his ears look, and then add the oil back, perhaps? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, sounds good. I'm glad he gave a good report. Mm -hmm. He did. His, yep. He says he's doing good. Yeah, he's, do, do we want to do a card? Chopper, do you want a card? Sure. Hi, Chopper, can you say stop? <laughs> okay. Uh, back. <laughs> stop now. Uh, did Chopper say that? Of course. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> he said that's good. Stop. Power. Power. Yeah. So yeah. Base, he's, he's got the power of the creator. Yeah. He's got the uh, power of the creator. He is. I think a, most of us are actually. But, yeah. He's, we consider him pretty special. He's very intuitive and he's communicating. Yeah. Um, I think he's deaf. That's one question I didn't ask. Is he deaf? No. Only when he wants to be. No. <laughs> Are you serious? No, I am serious. I don't, I don't serious. think he's deaf. Okay. So I, he's think that, I think he, no, I think he's got a hearing loss, but I don't think he's totally deaf. Okay. Okay. Because he tunes in at odd times and I'm thinking, well, did you hear that or not? So, Okay. And as Phil said, I only when he wants to um, be. I, no, I don't think it's when he wants to be. I think um, I think he has hearing loss. Okay. That would be, of course, that would be normal with his ears the way they are. Mm -hmm. Okay. And he has power of creator. Good for you, boy. Okay. I guess anything else or else we're done. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you. Thank you, all three. You're welcome. And I, Irina, I think I've, I've skipped over you and I'm sorry. I just saw it. I'm going to mute. Arena. Oh. Wait. Oh God. Natalie, you're waving. Natalie, I see you waving. What's up? I just saw somebody else put in the list that I was next because they were doing the animals first. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. That's all. Oh, that's why. Oh, Arena. She wants. Arena she wants, she wants healing. Mind. Okay, for herself. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't sure because she just. Okay. That's all. I just saw somebody else put in the list that. Okay. That was what they were honoring or the well, order. Dog. Oh, Natalie, you, you, you want your dog done. You're next yeah. then. Okay. Your dog, Lucas? Yeah. And I took a picture, but I can turn my webcam around. He's right there. Okay. You, you want to turn, turn it around. Yeah. You can turn it around. That's fine. Okay. okay. Hang on. Let me. Sorry, I can't see what I'm doing because it's a webcam. That's all right. Um, do you see him? I can see him. We can see him perfectly. Okay. I'll just stand here and hold this then. <laughs> Hello, Lucas. I'm going to turn my laptop around. Try not to, sorry. That's all right. Try to adjust this. So it's, I should have had it on this list already. He has lung cancer. So a melanoma it started off as a big mass in his mouth. Miraculously, the vet was able to snip the whole mass off with like a day surgery thing and a really simple surgery. But when they did a chest x-ray, his lungs were speckled. And two months ago, they gave him five months. <laughs> Lucas. I had Mother Mary here. She is um, the twin flame of Archangel Raphael. Uh -huh. She would like to actually. She works with him. She's working. She's actually next to him. Yeah. 
she's part of my energy too. She's one of my aspects. And when I walk him, she's the one that walks him. She comes through me to take care of him. Like I turn into her. Yeah. Like she's, she just comes through. She's not, uh, she's actually saying that she does not believe that uh, he's got five months or a, a limited time. Oh, neither do I. He goes for two mile walks. Yeah. No she says never, never believe doctors. You have, you, you cannot believe doctors because our animals are, our pets, have, heal. our pets have a purpose and um, love conquers everything. You cannot believe it. So she's showing, showing me where she's showing Phil and I both, because Phil is an aspect of Archangel Raphael and that's. Right. And Mother Mary is a soul brain mm -hmm. in me. So I'm part of her too. So I and I have somehow connected. <laughs> I've, I've tried, uh, Natalie, I've tried to fill his fill the energy of him with borax energy, which is an alkaline. So, okay, I'll do something. Hi, Wesley. Nope, 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 nope. See, I can't see. Uh, how old is he now, sorry? Um, don't know. I rescued him when I was in Texas, maybe a, about to turn 11. Lucas just said when he's ready to go, he'll let you know, but he's not ready to go, so don't worry about it. That's what he just said. Yeah, and this big boy, that's my roommate's dog, my, my twin, twin flame dog. When he moved in, it's going to be two years. This guy's only three and a half, four. Um, he really ri revived Lucas big time, and they're like best buds. Like, it's just the energy. He's like a whole new dog. They're literally like brothers and best friends now, and it's so awesome. Where one goes, the other goes, and it's totally made. And I keep just a totally different dog now. It's amazing. You can tell he loves him. Oh, and he's very protective of him. And when Lucas isn't feeling good and like when he had that huge mass like that I found in his mouth, like he just would lay next to him and sniff him like like he was showing me like what's wrong and he wouldn't leave his side when he came home from anesthesia from the vet. He like walked with him everywhere, wouldn't let him be alone. He's, they're just, they have an amazing bond. Like I want to cry just saying it because I'm feeling it. Mm -hmm. Hi, baby. Are you special? guys in your toys look how many toys you have get another basket <laughs> he's good yeah yeah he's good so it is it still cancer in there because we've been giving him no. chlorine dioxide solution and um my sister has a pet nutrition company and there's a mushroom blend powder i put in his food along with the spirulina bee pollen supplement and colloidal silver and some other supplements so he you gets should, you should give you should still give um the all the dogs that because it's good for them but um oh yeah he, they, he gets a ton fine. of really good stuff. he's fine yep awesome and then he has a big lipoma he walks remarkably well it's on his right hind leg like on his thigh it's big makes it hard to walk sometimes his back legs will give out you can't have your bones right now baby you're too loud no nope. i'll give them back to you when we're done not right now. Later. You good boy. Hi. <laughs> I love you. Leslie. <laughs> I'm not playing with you right now. I'm going to mute. Natalie, yeah, you, you probably know all this because uh, you're spiritual. But remember, when when a doctor gives you five months, sometimes the person who listens to it manifests that five months. So what you could say is you heard that doctor say f at least five years. Yeah, hey, I like that. Yeah, so give it five years, and when you feed him his food, remember to 
put love energy in all his food and okay. try and not be over the top with him try and be more lifting his vibration because if you're worried and anxiety about what what he's got or what he had okay. uh, he, he you can actually make you can actually feed the problems okay. yeah. Uh, is there anything different I need to do in his diet or that he wants? He loves mm -hmm. fruit and vegetables. Is there anything different he needs or wants in his diet? He loves fruit and vegetables, loves yogurt. Did, and... I'm not a doctor, but I, I, if it was mine, I'd, I'd just stick a tiny bit of thorax in. But I'm not a doctor, so I can't diagnose. <laughs> well, we do chlorine dioxide. My roommate makes the, he does the solution thingy for chlorine dioxide, which he needs to make more of. Um, yeah. That's very potent anti-cancer. We ran out. He's got to do it again. But he, yeah, but, but bor borax is an alkaline, uh, and obviously an alkaline body doesn't get cancer, does it? Okay. Uh, but I can't it's diagnose 20, that because I'm not it, sure with animals. Maybe we get it. It's 20 mule team boratine. I have it. I put it in my laundry. Uh, yeah, well, we drink it. He, oh. we, it's humans should be drinking it. And you can put a pinch of it in their water, just a pinch, not a lot. Okay. Okay. I mean, I, a lot of water. I got, we, I got it downstairs, so. We, we had someone on here who was being ill because she was having it as a, like a shot. <laughs> you have it like that. It keeps your pH in your body level. So yeah. People, cancer can't survive. So right. it, no, no, I know that as a nurse, too. And as I'm also a health coach by training. And, yeah, we have to have, have that alkalinity. But in the 1950s, they used to put borax on the... Uh, Farmers used to put it in the fields yeah. and they stopped doing it. So, so the food, food uh, now the they food put ground up so that we die, you know, we get cancer and everything. Oh, yeah. And sugar and too much meat, even, is very acidic, actually. So, soda, alcohol, tobacco, it's all. Yeah, I have a whole book on acid based diet, alkaline, so I know all about it. Um, sometimes I do raw. It's really difficult to do raw for both of them because Wesley is a 130 pound Rottweiler mix. And it's expensive, um, but sometimes I will treat Lucas to raw. I'd love to do it more. Um, is there anything that I'm giving him that is not good for him that he doesn't want, or that he says give me more because he loves broccoli? Like that's another thing he loves. Um, but what, what I would be looking at, Natalie, is why did he get it in the first place? Yeah. Try and work it at work. Everyone well, becomes ill I have because lung of issues, something. And I know dogs yeah. will absorb stuff that you have. I also have lung issues, and lately I've been coughing up chunks of stuff from my own lungs. I mum smoked. I have seasonal. Whenever I get sick, I'll have reactive airway slash asthma and bronchitis. My lungs are the first to get hit. When they get hit, they get hit bad. And I've been in the hospital for it. And so I'm thinking, and lungs are grief. So I'm thinking there's relation to that. He, he might have been healing you too much. Yeah. And he's, he's got all, the energy is actually locked on. So that could yeah. happen. Yeah. Especially but if your I, vibrations are similar. Yeah. 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 Cause I've been coughing up stuff lately. I've been feeling fine, but then all of a sudden like this big chunk of thick, thick, dark stuff will come up. And I'm like, we're, like I'm a smoker, mom smokes. So I have damage because of mom. So anyway, yeah, my lungs are an issue too, but I know they heal them. So they work on them, my guides and angels. I, I wouldn't okay. check boron anyway, but I'm not sure with animals. Okay. I, I, I have it in Deb, I'd say. Does Rick okay. have it as well? I'm not sure. Deb, does Rick have it? What? Borax, borax, borax. Yes. Yeah, so that's good. Okay. And it, it also gets rid of fungi and bacteria. It, it does that. It does a lot more than just uh, alkaline your body. It gets rid of okay. loads of stuff. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, I've heard of that. So that's good. Mm. Um, yeah, is there anything else that he wants to say or needs or? Do you give him canned food? I just started. I mix because it's easier to mix these powdered supplements with something that's moist. If I have like sweet potatoes or something of my food that's healthy food, I'll give them that. Or I'll do a little bit of canned food with the supplement. And he it's doesn't blue. Like, he doesn't like the canned food. <laughs> that's funny. And I just started doing that. I just bought a bunch. Darn it. That's a, okay. You said to me, I don't like the canned food. <laughs> okay. Like, then I'll do minimal, just enough to mix the supplements in. I'll do less. And Rottweilers or any type of rottweiler or hot type of animal he's a hot rottweilers should not have sweet potatoes really they're, they're well, a, hot, doesn't like hot breed. a hot breed would mean that an animal that comes from a cold climate should not have any root vegetable and they should have they should have fish 
and beef once a week. Because my 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 granddaughters, I just went through this with my granddaughter's dog. I was wow. feeding her feeding her the wrong food, and my my vet's holistic, and she said wrong type of food. She really? get white fish and beef at the most. It should be beef lip beef liver only, and only should only wow. be times a week. That's amazing. Well, they get the dried liver, the dried liver supplement and um, a kibble food. And then there's certain fruit and vegetables Wesley likes, but Lucas loves fruit and vegetables, period. He could eat salad yeah. for dinner. Broccoli is great. All the broccoli he wants. Oh, yeah. They both love it. Like literally Lucas could, he would be pretty close to happy if he was a vegetarian dog. Like not kidding. He loves I could give him a salad and I have given him, I'll make a salad for myself. And he's like, he wants the core of the lettuce. He wants everything, but the onions and mushrooms and celery. Well, onions eat. toxic for dogs. Right. Yeah. But he'll eat everything, literally everything. Potatoes, so, rice, and root veg- vegetables are bad for. That's all right. I felt he had a stiff neck. Maybe worth doing a bit of massage on. I do. You could <laughs> massage your dog. No, the dog. Unless he he's picking it up from you. He's got to be picking it up for me because he's been acting like it's fine. I did some energy healing. Like he knows when he needs healing from me. He'll literally mm. just stand there and not move. And I'll put my hands on him and then he'll move his body. So my hands go to a different spot. So he shows me or tells me where to put my hands. But no. I didn't pick up on the neck. I had a really painful neck last night because I was at my computer for the last week doing a lot of stuff. So my he might have like, been healing yet. Very possible. Probably. It's, I bet you mm. it's picking up for me. So. Mm. Or, or, Lucas. or Lucas was healing you. Yeah, so. that's Dog, what it is. Dogs can do healing. Oh, he does, because people have seen him when I do healing sessions for people. They're like, your dog was there helping me. So he he does. Do, He's, do, do you know he what my... He heals my, people my, of their fear of dogs, too. Yeah. You know what my dog's favourite is? Chocolate Maltese is completely shouldn't be having them, but... <laughs> He's okay. Oh, chocolate? Oh, you're naughty. <laughs> He's 14. He shouldn't mean be, you know. He, he looks dead young, to be honest. That's amazing. That's incredible. Yeah. It's his favorite. So. And beautiful. and uh, and cream. He likes cream as well. <laughs> That's ask. beautiful. That's beautiful. I don't go Can by I the ask... rules. Mm? Yeah. I have one personal, one quick yes or no question. There is a six-week priestess introduction program I'm looking at but I'm not sure if it's going to be too much with other things I have on my plate I'm feeling guided by Mary to take it is this the right time to take it or should I wait till it comes around again I'll pick a card (laughs) and see see if it says anything Mm -hmm. because I'm not really it's your choice but the card you, you can say stop and just think of this should I do it I think what card would say yes to it Probably blessings of no. angels. <sighs> Got guardian angel forgiveness. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> so guardian angels are basically saying there they're behind you. Forgiveness. <sighs> Not really there, is it? Well, it, what do you think, Deb? Hmm? Sorry, I was reading the list. What about what? Yeah. Should she go on a course or not? What 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 do you get out of the course? Um, it's a seven week course intro to like um priestess work and different approaches, techniques, healings, um, guidance, wisdom. There's like access to this huge library of activations, and I've already done three of them. And working with goddess energy, it's they're beautiful activations. Like she's got a very much shamanic energy um i i just did a week-long intensive with her that was free literally and um so and i really like her really like the energy um it's just i'll be starting a new job and i'm also taking another course so this like it's the forgiveness card makes sense because it's healing a divine feminine wound in me and so that's why the forgiveness card comes up because it's healing past life i will uh, pick your card blessings i think it'd be okay yeah okay i'll go for it if i were you i I don't i don't take when rick and i started this we were taught by creator and our guides how to do the healing we didn't take any courses this is part of our journey here Um, the spiritual aspect and healing and all of these things 
are not things that someone can teach you because we're all yeah. on this journey. We're all unique. And these I are think it's mentorship. People can't teach you. No, it mentorship. Mentorship comes from when, um, when they are, as we're raising our vibration, they're lowering theirs so that when the time of reunion happens, your mentors are going to be assigned to you from, from the higher dimensional beings. And that's, right. that's your mentor. Somebody right. that's down here is not your mentor. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We're all these, nobody's greater than you are. We're all equal. Yeah. So we're all, should, we all should be learning from our guides and our angelic. Oh, now, and I do. Like I channel, I do. Like I do. It's just, I guess, um, accountability. And there's a business component to it as well in terms of like goals and accountability and working on. But that's someone else's goals and accountability. That's not yours. No, it's not. It's, it's whatever they support you to do, however you want to do it. It's very much, uh, it's very, very sovereign. It's very authentic. The whole point of it is being authentic. That's the whole point is stepping into your power and having that coaching. That's all it is. It's nobody saying, do it my way. It's a hundred percent the opposite. It's well, I'm getting, it. well, I'm getting that to the ears go for it because okay. it will take, it will take you somewhere else. So it's a stepping and, stone. And my heart is really pulling me to it. Like there's something yeah. behind it that's there. Um, and it's really about step. The forgiveness is healing the divine feminine wound because it's greater than what it. But I'll give you I'll give you an example. Twenty odd years ago, I went on a at college. I went on an healing course to get credited healing. I now go to the healing center that created the course, and I'm probably the most known person that I'm, I'm the longest server. So it's right. a stepping stone. The actual well, exactly course didn't it. really because I already not been ego here, but I knew everything anyway. But it helped me to to go a different direction. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have accredited courses like that here. There's nothing in the United States. I mean, there's, yeah. there's, there's Reiki, Reiki here, but it's not the same Reiki that he learned. It's not. I, uh, I haven't learned Reiki. <laughs> Reiki, please. <laughs> it was accredited healing course, hands on healing. And it was about, tw- actually, it was 17 women and three men. And yeah. all the three men carried on with it. And none of the women did. Because if a bloke goes in, if a bloke goes into healing, he's he's really determined because it's like a no-no for men to do it. But the mm-hmm. females just go for it as a, a night school thing, if you get what I mean. That's yeah. what I got. It's well, we're we're, we're taking way too much time. So. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Well, I, I it was meant to be a yes or no, not a whole thing. Yeah. I didn't know yeah. what time. I'm I, I got the blessing. No, it's not card. your fault. We can we could get, get into a, a discussion on this, on the pros and cons of it. It, it, and people tend to get so caught up in, in going to cl- taking courses and classes that you're spending all your time trying to learn from somebody else. And they teach you their version of it. Where did they learn this from? They caught they they were learned from somebody else that taught their version of it. But you've got to be careful. You trust that you will be taught and and everything will come and, and you'll do things in the right time. And according to what you're what you should be doing, not according to what someone else should should tell you or teach you how to do. And all, all of this is in the right time. It's not. Deb, Deb you know, I'm just course. going to say that me, Deb, and Rick will do a course. Thousand dollars is our PayPal account. We don't mind. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. <laughs> No, yeah. this is actually not expensive at all. So it's not. That's good. Yeah, That's it's good. not. And she's in Canada. So it's awesome. She's like really awesome and laid back and she's totally different. That's the only reason why I want to do it is because she is different. She's not like the rest of the people that are out there. She's very humble. She's very it, laid back. If it helps you 5% and you're 5% better. But it, you're, oh, and you're good. free to do what you want, but just don't get wrapped up in trying to I've got to learn this and I've got to learn that. Don't. Oh, no, I don't. I, I stay very sovereign and I dabble yeah. with learning. I'll take that here and that here. It's like a buffet. And I'm like, yes, no, yes, no, yes, But no. you're not and focusing I, on what, uh, trusting your own, what you should be doing and trusting you. Trust right. that you know that everything is is there. You already have all of it. You have all right. of it. You don't have to grab I mean, it from somebody. It's else. You the extractor that helps you get it out of it. But anyway, go to the next person. I'm sorry for taking too long. It's all it's good. It's all right. Sorry. It's all, all right. good, Deb. Thank trust you. Yourself, trust yourself, Natalie. You already have it all. I would, I Every will. one of you do. Everybody in this room, you already have what you need. You just have to open it up. 
I got to mute. All right. Let's see. Um, Davina wrote everything down for me, and I love you, Davina. Thank you so much. So, Jackie, Natalie, Victoria, we have Bobby. I did healing on Bobby last night. I walked him. Hello, everyone. I walked him last night. I don't know if anything happened. Um, it's always so iffy, you know. But he was going through the, the motions of not feeling too well. I can't I always tell whether he well, understand that I, you said he hasn't eaten anything. And I understand why, because I, you know, he had a hook in his throat last night, um, Phil, and I've never seen a hook before we had, we had the other thing, the so was an actual hook. And so I, it, you know, he's healing. So I understand why he hasn't, did he eat anything today yet? Well, he, he did eat something last night, but he didn't eat like usually he will get hungry after a few hours he eats small bits and since I think after we walked and came back you're looking at six six o'clock around that period of time he hasn't eaten anything okay and you know he needs to to get get food in like regularly okay. again but, he's you know he's still healing, still healing yeah. hang on let me just um close off these distractions here I was right in the middle of sending um sending the paypal to you guys so i was just finishing up okay um well i would like a scan for him oh yes because yeah that's something fine. i can't really say but yesterday he walked i took him off to um, the park he hasn't been to the park in a long time so this is really nice that he goes to different places um and um his throat's still swollen from the incident last night so you know I'm, the healing's still there, so let me. Yeah, he's not comfortable since yesterday. Well, it, it, yeah, understandable. Yeah, that, that's definitely understandable. Mm -hmm. And all he does right now is just try to sleep, the poor baby. But I'm glad he came home and wanted to eat something, so I shared a sandwich with him yesterday. <laughs> he's so cute. Uh, I've got a picture of him, so I'm okay. <laughs> okay, thanks. Oh, did you get the video I sent? Uh, I have, but I'm not looking at it. I'm, I okay. think I'm, on, I'm on an event, I think. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> he makes me really proud. Did he drink water at least? Has he the been problem, he does drink. The problem with him drinking is that he tends to vomit. Mm. And he would be coughing on a regular basis, probably still healing, you know what I mean? And um, just it's, it's really hard to sleep with him because he... I have to watch him overnight. And that's just how it is. It's been like this for the longest time. I don't sleep. I go into meditative state when I'm when I'm dealing with him. As soon as he moves or cough, my eyes open. So I I don't sleep really very much with him. I, I know I'm talking about you, baby. He's looking at me. He knows I'm talking about him. I love you. Um, so he's um finally getting rest right now in the morning throughout the night. He just jumps up and down my bed and sometimes cough and everything like that and choke. And he has like literally tried to drink water to fill up a lot of the times. And, and many times he would just vomit a little or if not all of the water sometimes. He's been doing that for the last few days because, you know, some, there's a blockage there on his throat. But other than that, he is drinking and eating, but in small amount. He's, I, I hear his stomach sometimes literally growl or making sounds. Uh, yeah, Victoria, I'm getting pain in the, in the stomach. Uh, yeah. That means I've took it out. He angry. If I feel it, I've took it out. I'm also, you know your mum's portal? Huh? Your mum's portal. Yeah. Yeah, I think they got in that way. That's what I'm being told. So we're doing something with your mum's portal a bit to stop infiltration, if you get what I mean. Why does my mom always have these problems with the portals? It's not your mom. It's not your mom. It's they found a way. It's nothing to do with your mom. Ugh. So okay. we, we, we're changing it a bit. They found the codes to get in. There's something important I've sent you guys. And I was wondering if you guys know what that is. I sent a picture of the double arc of literally their light. Day and night is there. Where? When you look at the picture and what's up and you'll see, in, like literally over my house, it's a double arch of light. And it's been like that for quite a while. I'm assuming it's galactic of some sort. 
And I'm wondering if that is positive or negative. And you, you, you know, we get implanted, we get tracked and everything. And now we have this that showed up um, a while back and it's there every day. So if you guys have seen what that is. I haven't. When, where did you send it? Uh, did I, I sent it on WhatsApp. Oh. Yeah, if you can take a look at it and see if you, it's at the start, I only saw one line. And then when sometimes it shows two lines. So it looks like it's being shined down from space or, you know, from up, from up there. And so whether it's cold or whether the house is marked, you know, if there's a, you know, the galactics are in the sky, but, you know, both good and bad. So I wonder if that has to do with them. Because every time we go out, something happens. Oh, oh another thing. Are you the talking about the double ray? Double ray. You, it, yeah, it looks up, it appears to be a double ray. I have it in picture, so it's really kind of a golden color as well. It's hard to see through the um, the iron window. Yeah, I know. Um, it's basically their day and night. You literally can see, at least, I don't know, the pictures I can take, it shows it. Um, it's like something up there has shown down um, a light, like a spotlight or something over my house. Mm -hmm. And um, when we walk, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes there's interference out there. You know, the neighborhood is not safe for him. Every time we go out, something happens. So, and um, in my room a few days ago. Bad negative. You know, it's not negative. That's the positive one, right? Yep. Yep. I figured that much. I So in other words, they're protecting us. They're here for contact. That's good. And it is just sad, Rebo. <laughs> see, at nighttime, you see that picture. It's the, the rays are coming in from the outside. I took a picture of it. And yeah. there's daytime. It's also you there. Can, but See the lines here, if people that are wondering what. See these lines here? The day and night, you yeah, should see there. them. They're, yeah. And, and in daytime, you can see the same thing, but they look like a rainbow during the day. But this is outside. This yeah. is outside. I'll stop okay. sharing now. Okay, Fine. fair enough. There you go. So you can see that light during the day and that night coming from the outside. Yeah. I originally assumed it was positive because it didn't really do anything. A few days ago, Phil, I saw in front of me, like literally in front of me, a window, a TV screen, it's rectangular. It opened up, a portal opened up and it was black. Mm. It came from the it came from the void and there was something or someone there, but it's translucent color. It doesn't have a, you know, a, a fleshy color. It's just, you know, like a soul. Translucent. It didn't come from the void, it came from zero point. Zero point, yeah, that's the thing. It came from zero point, yes. And it's um. I've got a better picture of uh, just for everyone to, because it's always interesting. Mm. So you can see the golden ray there coming up. Yeah, you can see the ray. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite interesting. That. Right, I'll stop sharing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so you can see you can see that, and I figured that it was you know from the zero point, and the. There was a portal for the twin flame that was being activated in the, you know, for, for many of the twins. Not all of them will actually get the reunion opportunity. That's but only it, for the ones that are supposed to have. The only yes, yes. Are, yeah, only, yeah, yeah, only for those. Do you want, uh, do you want uh, a card for Bobby? Sure. I'm moving you on. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Sorry about that. No harm. Say stop. Oh, stop, please. Yeah, this is telling you exactly what them lines are, right? It's divine guidance. So you're getting help, basically. Yeah. Mm. You, uh, your prayers are being answered by new by uh, universal law. You might be getting a new friend. Uh, a new friend? Yeah, spiritual or uh, God knows what. <laughs> That's a new law for a new friend. A new friend? You mean like um, a spiritual guide or like local, like human friend? Yeah. Human friend? Uh, they, they were for Bobby, but they're not reading as Bobby. The divine one is for Bobby. I think you're both getting protected uh, by divine right. Yes. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, definitely. Yes. They came through 
was really desperate at that time when Bobby almost died again. Well, you, you, that, that's basically saying you, your prayers are being answered. So, mm. so back to that. I, I, I think it's a marker against the dark ones. To stay away from me. Yeah, to stay away from me, yeah. But I think they came, came into the portal a sly way. We've done something with it now. You won't get out with that, yeah. I'm not saying what we've done. We just done something. <laughs> I, I, okay, this resonates because my crown chakra is opening up. They're basically showing their presence because it's time for them to protect the virtuous ones. Yeah. This is why they're doing this. Why the lights are out there. You know, um, we we had had it so tough, the light workers and the ones who are chosen and you know, one who decided to do this to come here. And finally, this is this is happening. I, I actually kicked off with them a few weeks ago because uh, I thought I said we should get more protection. Was two weeks yes, ago. yes. Oh my gosh, this happened a while back. Um, it's just I haven't got around to to send it to you guys because Bobby was going through so much. Like I said, I don't even sleep. You know, that's just how difficult it was for me. But um, did you guys scan me? Anything going on with me? It, we're doing it animals right now, pets. Oh, okay, okay, um, first. okay. Um, you know that zero point opening. So, what, what do you have anything from that, Phil? No, that's all we've got. Yeah. Everything I've said. Uh, we gotta, we gotta on. move on, Victoria. Oh, okay, okay. Well, yeah. you can. We'll see you in a bit. Later. <laughs> Thank you. I love you guys. I love, love you too, too, honey. All right, Natalie. Is it no? Not Natalie. I'm sorry. No. Deanna. Deanna. De- Deanna. Yeah. Need to m- mute. Uh, Diana. You're on mute, honey. What are we doing? Luna. Okay. Diana, Diana and Luna. I don't know if it's a dog or a kitty or it could be anything, really. It's a, a rescue dog two years ago, still trying to bond, but she probably got trauma, but no one knows. Do mm-hmm. you have a picture? Diana, we, there must be a mute button there somewhere. Is it if it's a phone, which looks like it? No, oh, she got booted. No, she's on twice. She's doing twice, I think. All right. Connecting on it. Yes. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. Sorry, I didn't know that the thing was off in the settings, so I had to go in there. (laughs) Yeah. Is the... I don't... Okay, here's video. Okay. Okay, So this is Luna. Hi, Luna. Look at her. (laughs) And yes, she is a rescue, and I've had a little troubles bonding with her. And uh, she has a few issues with medical. Do you want to just carry on on, on her eyes? I, I want to try and lose some of the trauma if I can. Mm-hmm. Luna, no pretty girl. Luna, where's the kitty cat? Where's the kitty? Luna, Luna. Hmm. Where did you get her from? I got her from a shelter in Washington State. I think the owner died. Did they say the owner died? No, all they said was that, uh, what did they say? Something about she just, she wasn't a puppy anymore. Something, I don't know. I don't know if they really even had a reason to give or maybe they didn't want to give it. wasn't a puppy anymore. What the heck does well, that I got. I don't know. I got her at about nine months of age. So um, I don't know. I'm guessing they probably thought she was going to be a cute little dog. And she's actually got a really long back and she when I got her she had real bad allergies and she was just really she was like a tornado in the house until I started addressing her skin and all that with diet and uh she something about a death you poor I think she had I think she had been um come back I think she had been in a kennel most of her life because that's the only thing she would associate going to the bathroom and it took hours and hours and hours after I got her home to get her to go to the bathroom and it took days for her to actually be okay with going to the bathroom outside oh so she spent a lot oh it was one of those um breeding places yeah I'm not sure I live in Montana and so I had to drive a long ways to get her because we don't yeah. have a lot of small dogs and rescue here. Come here, Luna. Come, come. Come on, please. Come on, please. Yeah, she was in a puppy mill. That's why I said there was a lot of deaths. There's deaths and 
Do you know what a puppy mill is? Mm-hmm. Yeah. She didn't seem to be like icky. Her skin, nothing. She doesn't, she didn't seem like she had been raised that way as far as like her skin and her coat and all that kind of stuff. But um, she does have, uh, I don't know if you guys can, are picking up on some of her pain she has in a few areas in her body. Uh, I know it because of a CT scan. So easy. Dean, has he been a change in her now? Is she changing now? Is she changing? Yeah. Is that how she normally? Um, as far as behavior or however you think. I'm trying to change I'm trying to get rid of the trauma from her upbringing. She's and just, I'm trying to get like, you attached more linked. Yeah. She she seems to be more of a protector rather than um she doesn't like to really sit on my lap. She doesn't like to give me kisses much unless I tell her kiss for a treat. And then she'll boot me on the nose. Um, But she really likes to give kisses to the neighbors, like licks on the cheek. But for me, she just is not as strong. Um, And she's on her test that we did for her breeds. I guess she has some husky in her and then a a bunch of other little dogs. So she's always, it's almost like she's always trying to let me know that there's someone out in the hall. There's someone outside. She just doesn't want to be a lovey dog she just wants to protect me I think I, but it's hard to bond with her for some reason I at first thought it was me um because I had a, a really huge attachment to the dogs that I previously lost of cancers um but we also go we were doing service dog training until I found out about her injury uh and so we're really bonded as far as like doing training and stuff like that she's super smart um but she's still not very loving towards me you go do you take her out a lot in the park do i take her out yeah in the park or anything on a the park on a um, beach well, or on a fun day uh in the when There's it's no warmer beach outside, in the <laughs> hmm? well? it, it's really it's been really cold here uh this winter so when it, the temperatures are good we try to get out I did get her a treadmill, and we're still working on getting her how to stay on it. Treadmill? Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, a treadmill. She lives in Montana. Montana. (laughs) Do you know what Montana is? Look, is a... I do. I do know where Montana is. Okay. There's no beach. (laughs) We do go in on trails in the forest. And cowboys. (laughs) we've gone to we've walked to like uh waterfalls and stuff in the summertime and stuff like that we do it's beautiful there it's beautiful yeah it's pretty here but it's too cold for me we're going through another another temperature and snow weekend right now so it's gonna drop into the negatives tonight again so yeah it's a little too cold to go to the beach (laughs) (laughs) what beach (laughs) a lake exactly (laughs) the lake (laughs) (laughs) can you guys see the um compression in her spine and if that's hurting her or if i'm giving her sufficient things to help Keep her pain. Okay, I, I, I'm Keep not feeling pain. What happened? Pardon? Okay. I'm not feeling pain off her. I okay. can't feel any pain off her. Hmm. Yeah, the image is saying there's a little bit of mild compression, like an early IVDD, but uh, she's still real young. So I just try to maintain it with joint we can, supplements. You probably things. fix that. She she has issues with your her paws and that that whole kennel thing, or I mean puppy mill thing, makes me wonder. But it's more of her angular deformity, I think, that bothers her. Uh, but she doesn't, she gives little growls when I try to, when you touch her feet too hard. Um, and uh, not so much in her back feet, but I would thought wires, it would have been all feet if she was on wires. Well, the place she was at, I think the problem is, I think where she was, and it wasn't a huge puppy mill, I think they were amateurs trying to do this, and they were just overcrowded and they, we're not very good with animals. They were pretty abusive. So, yeah, you know what I mean? With leaving them in cages and dirty cages. And yeah. So you're going to get puppies that are sickly. And ugh. anyway, so her. Yes. Go ahead. 
Sorry, uh, she doesn't hold still. Dina, have you tried yeah. playing? Have you tried playing music with her? Mm. Uh, we have music. Meditation, on a lot. meditation music. Uh, I have so played some at night while, before we sleep, and sometimes dog calming music also for her. Um, but not often, so I could do it more. Mm -hmm. She has got a trauma from me where she was brought up. Uh, probably pet people, dogs that died or got, got, you know, she got attached to them and then they went. So she's got an attachment issue because everything that she gets attached goes. Yeah. yeah. So I think if you played music, it might just turn it out. I've tried to get rid of it anyway. So I've tried to lose it a little bit in a mindset. It's like a, a mind is programmed. You got to like deprogram it. Thank you. Which paws are, are bad, the front ones. Yeah, and I'm doing the, mm -hmm. the, the compression area where um, actually Mother Mary's working on her too. Um, yeah, she's got it worse in a left paw and she's always trying to like hide it from you when you like when I try to wipe dirt off her feet or like dry her feet from outside. Um, and she doesn't like me to comb her hair at her paws. Um, when I first got her and I didn't know and they were they did an x-ray on her and they held held you know they hold them at their feet so they can stretch them out at the belly uh she tried to bite someone and uh so now I, of course I know how to give the warning and we muzzle her just in case uh so I don't know uh I did um we did do an energy uh gal when I first got her that does it for pets it was the first time I'd ever done it and um she thinks that one of them might have gotten smashed or something. Um, so I'm not sure, but I'm aware of it now. I just uh, just mostly trying to bond with her, to, but I didn't know what what I'm doing wrong or if it's me or if it's her or. No, uh, no. it'll get sometimes. better. It'll get better. It'll get better. <laughs> OK, if it, if it was, I'd say put some YouTube meditation on and let her see it, images, you know. Of the beach, okay. maybe. <laughs> beach, joking. maybe. Okay, maybe she wants to be at the beach. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, meditation music. Okay. About nine hundred nine nine hundred hertz. Nine hundred hertz. Yeah, to yeah, see and, the uh, break. and don't and don't always send you know your heart heart to heart with her. Just be be there in love with her, and not don't worry about it because the bonding is already there. You just. It's it's almost like you're uncomfortable with each other because you think she doesn't love you and she does. She um I think it's because of the way she expresses herself towards me and then to like the my neighbors um and she's she's kind of real alpha so you have to be very stern with her um and I used to be in the military so <laughs> you both she might alphas. not like having a, a military mom but she uh she has to have direction. Um, and you're so both, I you're think both that might alpha. Be. that's why you're both alphas. So you're both, yeah. you know, but yeah, we might be casting a little there. <laughs> <laughs> I always, I always had wondered, I knew I was doing what needed to be done holistically for her health and her allergies and things. Uh, but I always wondered if I was the right mother for her as far as emotionally, because I worry about the mental health portion of her. But since he just, you guys mentioned that she, not or you know her might have been left a few times already um yes. that makes me even more not want to <laughs> you know help or i don't want to say not help her but not find her another home if it was to make her happier because i don't it doesn't sound like that's what she needs if she's okay no, with me <laughs> she, she is okay with you she actually loves you very much i think you both are are putting up this wall thinking oh you don't love me <laughs> <laughs> one, one thing I, I would say, you, you've got to be firm anyway with dogs. Yeah. You, you've, got to, you've got to be firm or you won't be able to handle them. So uh, there's nothing wrong with that. You're yeah. both similar in personality, <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs> yeah, probably so. <laughs> That's when you butt heads. So, uh, yeah, she tries to, you know, get her way in a lot of things. And I don't. So I you don't look at her and her. say, bitch, please, I've got your number. <laughs> <laughs> Because that's what she's saying to you. I've got your number. Remember that, bitch. <laughs>
It, it might be a problem we really using. Really, are the same. The yeah, same there might be a problem using charge. That might be the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys? Um, did you sense anything like in the spine or the hips at all? Because when we first started, they thought she had hip dysplasia and could feel. They said they could feel crepitus, but the imaging says no hip dysplasia. But she also sleeps at a slant with her rear upwards and her downwards and she's got a really long back um like a really I, long I back did healing. i did healing there so um i've done i did all this healing down her spine but in particular in her hips so i did see okay. something there uh, i i've got soreness in me left leg so she is a bit sore in that in that part yeah. because oh. what happens is the energy comes over and it, it's actually settling a bit. So I can imagine it just needs soothing a bit. Yeah. So that's where all, the healing was on. And then the left leg and down into the paws. So I've done all of, uh, I've did all, focused all the energy there. Well, it comes from Rick. So I, that's why I, I get the download. So I see it. Um, and I did some uh, in her sinus, she had some dripping. Um, mm -hmm. Is pro well, her she does tear a lot, which we're working with allergens and weeding out yeah. things that are working and not working for her. Yeah. I was giving her mushroom supplements to do to be pre active instead of pro, but I'm finding like just the other day I was reading something someone else wrote with white pups like these, and then I was like, oh, I've lost my focus, and I had stopped giving mushrooms for a while, and I realized she stopped the chasing her tail behavior that she's done ever since I got her. But I think I started mushrooms ever since I got her. So I thought it was a neurological or maybe behavioral, but then now I think it might be a mushroom. So, uh, and she does, she was nibbling at her hips a lot since I've got her too occasionally. So um, I guess I don't know what to think about imaging because we went from the imaging saying hips were fine even though that was the original reason we imaged her. And then they said that the cervical spine and the, about the two, three, four region, cause I have a fusion there as well. And so I, I noticed her stretching her neck a lot. So then I know what stiff neck seems like. So I guess maybe it all is mostly in her rear. Yeah. But she can also, also pick up what, what's wrong with you. Yeah. D D Dina, I've released some of the trauma in a, in a head. I've released it. So this can have okay. side effects. Things might improve in different areas. You, you don't know what these traumas are affecting physically. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. You guys have really helped me. <laughs> do, do you want a card for her? To stay sure. still. So okay. th these cards are guidance to the, the healing we've done. So it, it's basically next forward, next step forward. Just say stop. Stop. Abundance. Sometimes. Yeah, abundance. So what does abundance mean? Uh, arrival of, it's, it's like spiritual growth. So I think arrival of growth, I think it's to say that the healing's been done. That's what it's been. So, Great. so you, you'll see, it. you should notice an improvement. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, I appreciate you guys. Luna says thanks too. <laughs> Welcome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you guys have a great day. You too. And you, thank thank you. you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Irina? Yes, hello. Do you need me on video, on camera? Is yes. it better? Yes. Yep. All right. We have to see your energy. <laughs> Here I am. Hello. Hi. Hi. Would like a healing? Yes, please. Yes. It's, uh, as far as I know, unless somebody arrived with it, I don't think so. I think we did all the animals. Thank you again, Davina, for your assistance. Eyes open, Arena. Got to see your eyes. Just for a minute, yeah. She's going to need some attention. <laughs> I got something going on in your back, right in the right between the waist and the root chakra. I see this black disc. What the heck is that? It looks like a hockey puck, but it's smaller. Do you have out wrong in your hip, Arena? Anything here? Yep. Do you have pain in your hip? Uh, the hip, no. But the lower back pain, it started like yeah. two days ago. It, it's right very close to it. Now, the hockey puck thing has now gotten furry and legs on it. Do you want to get rid of it? Do you want us to get rid of it? <laughs> <You wanted> to... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yes, please. <laughs> Where is that? Parasite or something? Spiritual parasite death? Is that what it is? Um, or is it an implant? Yeah. I can't tell. I think it's some kind of, uh, I don't know if it's if it's a parasite. I don't I, think so. I think it's a mixture of both. I think so too. I've never seen one like this. An implant parasite. Oh. It's a new one. Is there any more? Is there a tracker or anything? I'm you have a, a sore foot now and again. A sore foot. Uh, yeah. Left foot. Left foot. My left foot, yes. I left foot. Left foot. How mm -hmm. about the how about the ankle? Like the the uh not the foot itself, just the ankle. Exactly. Broke it four years ago and still have plates and nails it's, and it's painful. It's just painful. My body never got used to it. It just wants yeah. to get rid of all the interesting. Foot. That's where it's come in, isn't it? Yep. That's what happens it. is when you have an injury like that, you break your aura field and they can bring anything in there. Uh, it takes 24 hours for your aura field to repair itself. So the there's like a spiritual parasite stroke implant inside, and it's probably a tracker there. So you probably feel a lot of energy now. You've got to do quite a bit of work. She's got, got she has something in the back of her head, right before right where her right here. It looks like the same thing, like a hockey puck. Small. You should start feeling this energy now. Oh, I've been feeling it all the time. These have been draining your energy. Have you been really tired? Yeah. Wow. Relax, take some deep breaths because this is going to, they're, they're, they're upset because we're, um, we found they, them. Deb, they've disconnected. Couldn't get to the destination. <laughs> yeah, they disconnected yeah. the implant. Clever swan. Yeah, they're, they're irritating her right now. I can feel it. But no, they've disconnected. I can't get to the, where they've come from. Really? Yeah, super intelligent. She's got something in her shoulder. It just appeared. And it looks like an ant on her on left shoulder. Her left shoulder. Did you feel something on your left shoulder? Yeah. And it was quite a fight when he was working on the back. My God. I thought I'm going to faint or vomit. You, you, you'll see, you'll, you might feel, I've got a team there now getting rid of these. You, might, you'll, you should feel them all over the place. Have you got an headache as well, Perry? I didn't hear you. Have you I got an headache any... starting to appear? A bit of a strain in your head. Oh. Uh... No, not really. I probably took it. There's something in their in our house. Yeah, you know, we've really irritated them. They're there now. Shall mm -hmm. I open the door, the terrace door, the balcony door? There's a no, no. We we're, we're in the house. It's you don't yeah. have to. You can there's go through. We're in four D sort of thing. There's some portals. Yeah, another, there's a, few, there's a couple one. of portals. Another one just arrived. Archangel Michael's here. Just relax. Take some deep breaths. Relax. Archangel Gabriel's here. Wow. Well, the plant, the portals are gone and uh, they've got a bit of platinum, right? Uh, how are you feeling, Arena? You should be feeling better now. I don't feel great. My back is sour and the back of my head is like highway to I don't know where. Energy. So well, just... what, what we need to do is we need to send you healing. We've just been shifting everything, getting rid of everything. Uh, God. Everything's gone from you now. Okay, so now you're going to feel some energy for the healing energy going through you now. Dad, I'm trying to create a med bed. <laughs> like, <laughs> never done it on distant before. Okay. okay. I've got her heart wrapped in um, white, green, and blue. And then the three gold flame. So just, okay, I see the energy you're creating. <coughs> I see it. How do you feel, Harina? Oh, my spine is still adjusting let's put it that way so healing you, you have an healing for the next several days you're going to be so. feeling for seven days and That'd your body, your whole body went through a, a, an actual med bed type of healing your whole body from head to toe yeah and In, inside and outside yeah. drink a oh, lot of water God. bless your water put love in your water lots and lots of water this week arena i, d I don't like saying it on me but I've, did you have it uh, the lollipop, which is something in your arm. Have you had any of that? If I hit what? Did you have any injections? No. No. Okay. In the last couple of years for any illnesses that uh, did, that sometimes were mandated? You know, do you know what I mean? Well, <laughs> well I had a stroke okay. January 2020. And uh, a year before I, bro I broke my ankle and three Months after the stroke, I had a heart surgery, actually. So I have a small, yeah, 
Uh, so the, that, did, did they did the hospital make you get the injections that they made all of other people get injections oh, for? No, 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 no. Okay. Oh no. Yeah. oh no. We had a long discussion and I was like, I'm out. I don't give a shit. I'm out. So yeah. no. That didn't happen. That's what we're that's what we're talking about. Yeah. No, okay. no, no, no. Excellent. Yeah. No. I don't like saying it's political, but we, we can get rid yeah. of any toxins in it. So uh, because you, you've had like a detox, so it could be all the time you've been in hospital with all, all the problems you've had. You've had a lot of problems the last few years. The energies and your chakras were out of balance and everything. So you should be okay now. Thank you, guys. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you, very much. you feel lighter anyway? Uh, yeah. My spine yeah. is killing me, but I feel what is going where. It's kind yeah. of a readjustment, really. It's like things mm. are reworking themselves and before. Yeah. You might just need a, a, an extra healing next week, your next month when we do another healing session, like we're just going on again. Yeah, because there was a, a lot wrong, uh, so much wrong. It was unbelievable. So. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. you very much, guys. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. Do you want to give her a card? Do you want to say stop? Oh. Stop. <laughs> That balance was bang on because you were you were well out of balance like i said so now if you need any help just ask your guides and ask your aspects for help but you did need a lot of balance abundance is uh, i think it can be wealth but i think it's spiritual growth so uh, i think it's like a turning point so that's good yeah. thank you you're welcome thank you. victoria you need healing well a scan will be good i don't know if i need healing but it would be nice to, you know, fix whatever that needs to be fixed. Okay. See anything going up? Your third eye is really, really bright right now. Dev, you can see it. <laughs> it mine, even in, mine's like, psh. yeah. <laughs> even even with my low vibrational state, no, I yours, really wish yours, I'm, your vibration's not low. Your vibration is normally here, and sometimes you're here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to you glowing. Golden. Yeah. It's this fear factor. Get rid of the fear factor, I'm Bobby. Yeah, I, I know. It's it's worrisome. It's a human thing, right? Yeah, it is. Don't be human then. I, you, <laughs> that's the problem. I think I was not human enough these last few years, and it was like people mm. just look at me weird and run. Yeah. I'm I'm weird. People look at me weird still. <laughs> It's all right. We could be weird. Who cares? Love yourself. Definitely. That's all right. You haven't got, you haven't got any implants or anything anyway. No, I, I don't yeah. feel anything you're wrong. Clean. Yeah, you're, you're clean. Yeah, I don't feel anything wrong. My heart chakra, um, my flames were just, you know, activated, were blazing again um, just a moment ago. So, um, yeah. It's, it it got like the, Calvary, the Calvary's here for you, so that's a good thing. Yeah. Those guys are backing me up. So yeah. to say. Yeah, you got back up. So yeah, and you know, I was so happy because I went out to to make something for baby to eat and he actually ate after the yeah. healing. Good. So so I, as you can see, I'm much happier when he's eating, right? Good. Yeah. Good. Um, by the way, though, um when you mentioned about um friend, I'm, I'm gonna be getting a new friend or something. Are you talking about someone in the human realm? I don't know. <laughs> he didn't tell me that. <laughs> Sounds like it though. Because like <laughs> there were three soulmates that are entangled with my energy. Oh, don't get into soulmates. Oh, no. don't don't oh, get my, into them. Don't get into them. That's a long conversation. Oh, that, okay. If people ask me about that, stop. So yeah, but, um, listen. Yeah. Don't complicate things any more than they already are. <laughs> you got enough going on with that crap. Move True. along. Move along. Let's move along. Who's All right. the, get no. you? Did you get a card? Did oh, you get, no, I didn't get a card. Get a card, Phil. Go on, say stop. I am shuffling. Oh, <laughs> shuffling. Make sure you say stop when you want to stop. All right. Stop, please. Set your intentions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, well, that means create a future goal, goal and aim for it. And I would say, no fear goal, yeah? Set a goal and aim for it. 
especially if the new year start of a new year it's good to set these goals yeah a new goal though some of a it's new... difficult not not some it's easy you want a difficult one you mean yeah set a goal a difficult spiritual one and aim for it a spiritual one what's considered a spiritual goal um meet meet a new friend that's spiritual <laughs> sorry <laughs> ignore me yeah don't look like that. I don't know what it is. That's what the cards are saying. All right. All right. Don't come. I'll try that. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you. Deanna, do you, do you want a healing? Deanna. I didn't ask for it, but it would be good for me too, I guess. Okay. Yeah. You were next on the list, according to my our friend. That you is it? Next. Oh, well, it was primarily for Luna, but I definitely go through a lot myself. I thought it was just for pets today. So <laughs> it's humans after pets. Yeah. So I, you are on the list for the next human healing. Okay. So it's a happy surprise then. <laughs> <laughs> I, I definitely need it. Trust me. Okay. Do, do you have a, a problem back now and again? Because I, I just cracked me back. Just healing. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I have a fusion from an injury, and then I have actually a inflammatory issue going on in my body. So I've been having to change my diet ex- to an extreme. <laughs> an inflammatory issue in your body. Let's see. Mm. Father says the inflammatory issue is because of what they spray in the fields, Roundup. And the That's why I can't you- have grains, and I can't have sugar, and I can't have all that stuff. <laughs> The only country that didn't spray Roundup is Italy. So if you buy pasta from Italy, imported from Italy, you will be fine. Mm, Okay, I'll try. I've been trying gluten-free, organic brown rice, but it's pretty severe on me. So I guess I'll look into the Italy stuff and give it a small try. If you buy tomato sauce and uh, uh, tomato sauce, anything from Italy that's imported from Italy, you are safe. And you want, you want to know why, because of course, all of the, they don't spray their stuff that's going to be, that's going to poison them. Everything yeah. is safe there. The only, that's yeah, the I've only- been trying to do a cleaner diet with, uh, well, the doctor had mentioned gaps, which is pretty extreme uh, to heal the leaky gut and all those things. Um, so I've been trying to eat just uh, vegetables and cleaner meats on occasion, but I've have been trying to take out all the grains and glutens and sugars and potatoes and you name it. And it's sugar, leaving me with so little sugar is processed. I don't know whether you know that. Yeah. So get, get, get the, the, the meat you have you can bless it by the way. And how you bless it is you connect to the animal that gave you the nutrients, uh take the trauma, send it to source if you into anything like that, and then thank the animal and send it love. Yes. And the food changes. It will change. And, and, or go yeah. to a butcher that's grass-fed. Don't buy your mm. meat at the grocery store because that's that's yeah. all, the tra- all the trauma meat. Go to well, a you, butcher. You can change your trauma meat yourself. Yes. But you also go to a butcher that's not, you know, that those those butchers doesn't buy from a factory where the, the cows are kept in these little tiny places and, and, and you yeah, I might want to, to, still want to bless have your food. To, yeah. I might have to find a private person because the butchers here, they buy grass fed, but it, they're all grain finished. And so I've been buying at the, like the whole food stores, the grass fed meats, but it's like $10 a pound. So it's been really hard uh, financially. So I'm eating as clean as I possibly can get my hands on uh bison but, yeah is the best. bison is the best it's all protein uh, have you tried yeah. try boron as well borax if you don't want to drink it like me Devon Rick, you can always have a bath in it yeah and it absorbs in the skin and that helps your hormone balance improve cell function absorbance of minerals improve wound healing and alkalines your body yep helps for arthritis as well yep yeah she definitely said i had a lot of that, which I've noticed has calmed down since I took all the bad stuff out of my body for the most part. I still have pain and I can feel it usually within 15 to 20 minutes of ingesting. Uh, so I'm trying my best to keep it down. Yeah. Yeah, I was digestive. The board, the board team, 
the board mm-hmm. team it's it's worked wonders i've actually lost some weight um and i'm not even trying to lose weight uh, you know i'm it, it's i feel better i have arthritis in my whole body i'm 68 i'm i'm going to 69 this year um so oh, yeah yeah you're good at maths as well that means it's clean your brain fog <laughs> which she <it> does <laughs> Sorry, i'll go he's terrible he teases me because I I'm terrible at math. Yeah. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, definitely more the, the board the board team work. Um, and there's videos that um, we should probably post on on this. Oh, um, oh, you know, okay. every couple of weeks or so, when when it fades, mm-hmm. or post it at the top and keep it there. But um, it's really simple to to do, and um, it lasts one box will last you years. I don't use it in my laundry. <laughs> yeah. You can use it in your laundry, but that's, I mean, I, I just don't. I, I save it for, for our use. Um, we've been so doing- Bora team is the same as the Borax in a, in here in, in the U.S.? It yeah. is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I heard you mention it earlier to but some pinch, folks, but yeah. I didn't know much about you, it. You got you to gotta mix it with juice because it, I mean, it tastes like it. crap. But you can send it to her. Yeah. You, you have a tiny- Pinch for two liters or a couple put a, of pints. Put a pinch, put a pinch in your yeah. dog's dish. Someone once mentioned they had it like a, like, like a, 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 you know, like a, a shot, and they were ill, and I said you overdosed it. <laughs> yeah, I did yeah. overdose it once. <laughs> so, you know, OT I survived. <laughs> but you can have it in a bath. You can if you add it in a bath. It goes into your skin anyway if you if you don't want to try it. But I I I have it and I'm okay now. I think am I okay, Deb? Yeah, sure. you're okay sometimes. <laughs> it also creates depression and joint yeah. pain yeah. and brain fog and fatigue. That's good. Does that? Yeah. That's that's why they don't put it in the fields anymore. So people were getting well. Yeah, they were not getting ill because you know Bill Gates and his crew of uh. People want us to perish. There's too many of us. Let me see. Sending you some healing at the moment, Dina. So you might feel the energy. You may feel the energy because we're going to go through you and get go through the body and send some energy through you, and it'll last for seven days. Last time I was, uh, I came to you guys. It's probably been a year and a half ago. You had said that there was a woman attached to my back. Did she leave completely, or has she come back at all? Because I don't. No. feel her as much i guess she's, she's gone she's gone yeah. no, i would have i would have known if she was there right away <laughs> okay <laughs> that's a totally separate energy from yours so yeah i would have felt her her energy <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you guys asked her to leave so <laughs> yeah. no i no i actually i, 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 I actually noticed. we actually have somebody escort her away to the to the light <laughs> to her perfect place okay. wherever that is yeah <laughs> We have help. I have help. <laughs> no, I talk to her telepathically so that, you know, I, I know that she's leaving and I actually see her leave. So, no, no, <laughs> there's no mistake. Okay. Okay. I had someone come back once and that was a friend of my husband's that he grew up with. I saw his, his deceased father in his eye. <laughs> ah. thing. We were on a cruise sitting across from him and I saw him in his eye and I talked to him and no, no, his father, he didn't even know that we did that. His, his friend didn't even know. It's the weirdest thing, seeing his dead father living vicariously through his son. The guy had been dead for, God, over 10 years. Mm-hmm. You're a card, Dana, by the way. Let's see. Um, what I wanted to tell you is um, that I, they, there's an energy that went through you that I've never seen before that I saw them doing healing. And I don't know whether you felt it in your crown, but it actually... Um, it went through your your whole bloodstream, and it's going to be Pardon? I feel a little like woozy, like yeah. I've never seen <laughs> I've never seen them use this energy before, but it, and it was really quite fascinating to see it. What, but it, what do you do spiritual, Dina? Do you do anything spiritual? Do you do anything no. spiritually? No, actually, um, I have been what I've been struggling. My friend thinks that I might have experienced some soul loss. Uh, when I lost my other two dogs and I've had issues with trying to connect spiritually with anything at all. And uh, so I feel like I've had 
this negative energy that kind of follows me day to day, week to week, all the time. And so it makes it hard for me to progress in life. So it might have had something to do with that. But the, the message I'm getting, which is in line with Deb, actually, you could have an awakening this year. Sure, you can choose that. And I mean a proper awakening. It might be painful in your joints like you've got that, but uh, all your answers come immediately. It's quite weird how you go through an awakening. I'm, I'm getting that message. Yeah. That it's could all, be the it's energy. It's all divine timing. Some people learn messages and get messages when they're supposed to. And today's part of the day that you're going to get a message um, actually from Creator that um, you were not told before that you're angelic, right? No. Well, today's the day that you're supposed to find out that you're an angel. I have a big heart. I know that. And I don't always, uh, I struggle with uh, reciprocation. So I give out a lot, but I struggle with not getting it in return, I guess. So um, that's been a, a huge struggle for a long time. People can't lose their soul. You can't lose a part of your soul. So you're... That's impossible. I don't know why why someone would give you something like that, a message like that. So you're you're not losing anything. Your heart maybe is broken because you've lost pets that you loved so much. They're part of you. They're part of your family. That's that's part of you. And your heart, your heart's broken. But understand that pets reincarnate quickly. So it's not like you're not going to see them again. They'll they'll probably come into your life in some form or another. And you need to be open for that. It could be a bird. It could be a cat. It could be, it could be any form. And you have to look in the eyes of these creatures that come to you. And you'll know who they are just by that. And something freaky could happen. A bird, a robin could come and land on your shoulder or come directly at you. A squirrel. I mean, this is what I'm saying to you. These, these, something weird could happen like that. That may be one of your dogs. So that's what you need to be prepared for, open and trusting. That's the type of spiritual thing that you need to be open to. They reincarnate quickly, very quickly, and they will come and visit you. That's the kind of relationship you have. The one thing I saw a lot of after they passed was um, was dragonflies. Hmm. So I looked up the meanings of drag, or, you know, if you see dragonflies and stuff like that. And uh, But yeah, that's what I would always see kind of in the grass outside all the time with dragonflies and we don't have that many of the dragonflies around here <laughs> so that could be your angels that could be your angels giving you messages mm. and you, chose, say, you chose yeah. your angels before you came like i was going to say dean of it when you have a loss it can damage your heart chakra and get your old body out of balance and it can be quite painful so i've got i've got the green crystal here I'm programming to nourish your art chakra. So you, Deb, you can carry on talking, but that's what I'll do. So I'm sending it healing to release the grief from your art chakra because it's not, it's not doing you any good. It'll just get work painful. So I'll I'll do that now. So just take that. Thank you. Good idea. Good going. Thank you. So <laughs> so you chose to be here. You chose to incarnate as an angelic. That you asked to incarnate as a human and. Met, there are many of you. You wanted to come here at this time. I'm asking Archangel Michael. He's letting me know that this is your first incarnation as a human. First, you wanted to do this so that you could experience the emotions because angels don't understand love. They don't understand pain because they don't, they've never felt pain. They've never felt the emotion of love or kissing and hugging or death, any of the emotions that humans feel. So when you go back to the angelic realm, you will understand what it's like to go through this like humans do. And you'll understand when you get assigned to somebody. Name. Her angelic name. Archangel Michael says, why do you need labels? <laughs> he always says that. <laughs> it's Ter Teresita. Teresita. Oh, sounds so Spanish. Mm -hmm. I do have Mexican in, in my heritage. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> Yeah, my great grandmother that I never met, uh, uh, her name was Joaquina, and uh, my great grandfather's name was Jesus, and they were from Mexico. My grandmother was born in America. <laughs> Got two cards, uh, Dina. Say stop. Okay, stop.
So now you know when you're when you're done here, you will go back to the angelic realm. Thank you okay. for all the messages. You're welcome. You're welcome. The first one emerging. Just remember you're awesome and you will reveal your true grit to express yourself. The other one's freedom. You may feel trapped in prison, but you have the keys to release this imprisonment. There you go. Yeah, I was feeling like I was in prison, <laughs> for sure. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Okay. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Paul, Paul still here? No, he's gone. Linda. Hello, lovelies. Hello. Hello. How are you? Oh, feeling overwhelmed at times. Yes, this place can be overwhelming. Yeah, trying to be a great digital soldier and a freedom warrior and a light work. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> As you can tell from my Facebook page. I don't get there enough. There's so many Facebook pages and no, my, pers my personal just, one. My personal yeah. one, not not the um. I don't yeah. do, I don't put politics on my spiritual one, just on my personal one, <laughs> my digital warrior. My Rick's hardly ever on Facebook because his computer broke. Oh, lucky you. We've got, no, we got, we just got, we just got one fixed. So <laughs> he'll be back on. Oh, I just sometimes, sometimes just want to throw my laptop and phone away and run away. <laughs> you didn't break it, Deb, did you? <laughs> yeah. No, no, I didn't break anything intentionally yet. No, I mean, Deb, did Deb break Rick's? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, I don't go near it. I have enough to do. Oh. Oh. You do a scan. We are doing a scan. Thank you. I'll do. I'll give you some healing, Linda. Well, the scan. In case I think out. Uh, Let's see. I have the something in the middle of her back. What is that? It looks like um. She has something in the middle of her right. In the middle of her back. Almost looks like a white bow with no, with no ribbon on it. You know, with no tails. Just a white kind of bow. She has one behind both knees, too. Your, your back bothering you? Your your legs, your knees bothering you? No. Well, my back, yeah. I always feel like I just that my angel wings are still growing in. And my, my knees, no. But I get tingling in my feet. Well, you have... Um, tracking device in your left foot so you, you have implants these are different looking ones you okay huh yeah rick's got some too now they look the same way yeah they must be in the room yeah, somewhere i just got them it's just so funny almost immediately yeah i'm feeling yeah i'm feeling you feeling feel the energy in your room oh they look like scorpions that's weird i know i have a hard time keeping my feet warm when I'm out in the cold. And Do you have neuropathy? I don't know. It sounds like neuropathy. What is that? Your feet going numb? Do you have diabe diabetes? My dad did, and I wondered about that. And yeah. Let me ask you something. Have you ever been on antibiotics um, called Cipro or Leviquin? No, that doesn't sound familiar. I haven't been on any pharmaceuticals for years. But yeah, 10 years ago, you could have been on these. The names don't sound familiar. Have you ever had pneumonia? Yes, years ago. And my doctor left town. And when he came back, he says, you're the worst case I've ever seen. I was so concerned about you. He never told me that before he left. But yeah, did they put you on antibiotics? I imagine probably. I could, my memories. Sucks. Yeah, that was brutal. But I only had it once. Mm. Now, these two antibiotics are are what and they're still they're still giving them out and this is this this is what's caused this these symptoms are caused by these antibiotics and that's why I'm masking and you can get it years later it causes nerve damage and it causes non-diabetic neuropathy which is the burning of the feet and yeah I've been you know I've avoided any Western medical doctors for the last several years, and I haven't been my own best doctor either. So. I've been told the uh, dead are gone now, the implants. The what? The implants. The implants are gone yeah. on both the eyes. So. Okay. What about the being that's in her house? Oh, well, I can only do one job at a time. <laughs> what? I can only do one job at a time. Yeah. <laughs> that being that's okay. there. I also put them in Rick. Yeah, they do. They're not in the, in the port anymore. 
I felt that immediately. Hmm? I felt it immediately. Yeah, I know. That being, you know, Do- uh, Johnny Darko. It's like that. <laughs> but he, but he looks like a scorpion. He's huge. Yeah, but he's got like a Johnny Darko, you know, the monster in Johnny Darko. So it's like a face of that. Oh, this is going to be fun. Yeah. I've never seen one try to run away like this one. <laughs> Put Johnny Darko later on, Dad, uh, Google, and the monster in it, and the face is the same. Wow. Is it Johnny Darko? Yeah, yeah, the film Do- Johnny Johnny Darko. The monster in that, the face is very similar. It's wacko. Never seen one of these before. Me either. Every week it's something different. Yeah, a lot of people tell me things about me that just never seen before. I <laughs> just getting hot in here. Metatron. Yeah, what I do, Deb, I, when we kill them now, we send the consciousness to source, stopping me getting reborn. Yeah. So that's why I did the light language. Light language. I have, to, I have to make a bio break. Just give me a second if you can move the chair, Rick, and I will do some healing when I get back. If, once Rick gets the implants removed. Wow. I've done it, Deb. Oh, yeah. You want to go on too? No. Okay. Can you feel that energy, Linda? I'm sending you platinum, right? How do you feel, Linda? Oh, I don't know. I feel a lot of energy going through. Hmm. I changed some platinum rate to chakra 36, which is like uh, a gold crystalline. So, because oh, yeah. uh, you could you could handle the actual images, some can't. So, that's good. Yeah, I've been trying to work more with the golden and violet rays, and not enough. So, okay. Yeah. Still, I wanted to ask you, I've been meaning to or thinking about asking you, but I haven't. But oh. if you might consider doing a session with smokers. Uh, you mean the shadow beings? <laughs> smoke, yes, some call them smokers. Well, like uh, that's, like that's smoke with eyes. Cigarettes. Oh, you mean to actually deprogram you to have cigarettes? Yes. Okay. Somehow my ego has me convinced that it does me better than deep breathing exercises somehow. <laughs> oh, the tingling in the feet, the grounding. You need to do the grounding was blocked. That's okay. the tingling in the feet. It's not getting going to ground. Yeah. <sighs> okay. I've tried to do some. Uh, see what I said. Do you want to light up, man? <laughs> Joking. I, yeah, I do. <laughs> see if it tastes different. I've tried to cut a cord in your brain. I've tried to connect it so it doesn't taste the same, but it's Thank quick. You. It was a two minute job. So just see how it, how it goes. Yeah. Thank you. Do you want two cards? Yes, please. Thank Taste you. Up. Oh. Let's do it again because they're the same cards as last time. I, I'm not, I don't agree with that. Uh, let me shuffle them a little bit more. Stop when you're ready. Oh, that's better. Uh, there. So, first one was self acceptance. You're too difficult on yourself. Start loving yourself. Stop being so serious. Yeah. And truth and integrity, which I can say right now, if you keep on making the same mistakes, Send them to your angels, yeah? So if you make mistakes, send them to your angels, let them go, release them, yeah? But yeah, start loving yourself more. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. How do you feel? A lot better. Yeah, I do feel better. Yeah. And I thank you. And the scorpions are gone. So. Oh. Yeah, I need to, I know I need to forgive myself and let go of how I tried red filling my family. <laughs> we've all done, we've all been there <laughs> let that go they, they have, you have to respect their journey yeah let them go with love that's yeah. all you have to do yeah. it's hard Davina is next thank you thanks honey right. hello Hi, honey hello I am I'm asking you know to um, scam my uncle again because in he's out of um, I see you, I believe, because he can breathe by himself right now. Excellent. And his blood pressure and oxygen level and heartbeat kind of you know up and down yesterday, but they say today's better. So is he improved since la- last time we gave him healing yes. to be? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Okay, that means it, it, he's accepting it. So he is, and. Yep, he wants to live, so he's 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 actually doing really good. Awesome. He, yep, he's not ready to go. 
I always think if, if you send healing three times to someone who you're not sure if he's going or not and nothing changes, then he's, they've decided he's improved. So yes, it's, it's good. Thank you so much for your help. I really appreciate it. This new healing is amazing. Um, but I think they say the um, the coma um, indicator is still three to four. So he's what not. That, what does that mean? Zero, three to four? No, I think the coma indicators, um, according to my cousin, they say still three to four. I think there's a, a number of the 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 um the coma, and I think he's still not fully um fully awakened yet. Well, he's still believe me, he's still with us. So, and he's he's improved so much. I don't. I think he's fine. His body his body was healing and. This coma didn't hurt him. His brain is all there. Okay. So how about the blood in his brain? Because he fell down and hit his head. So he was blooding, you know, on the, on the. Yeah. Floor. Yeah. But that's healed too. I mean, his, okay. you know, his, his, his healing and I don't see any long lasting issue with that. that, that the information I'm getting is that's going to be fine. Okay. There's nothing I don't see. How about you, Phil? Uh, it's totally healing. Did you, I saw the spiral. I, I created like a, a spiritual med bed and it? all the spiral energies were going in his aura field and he was accepting it. And it actually started going into his head. So that, that mm-hmm. figures. So uh, did too. And th- this new healing that all of a sudden the father is showing me is, is all electronic going and it went all through all the veins and arteries and it's all showing like this electronic zapping going through. I, I could be the med bed I've trained. You, you know, the video we had at the beginning where you saw a man and all the electrons. Yes. It's like that. It's a bit like That's that. That's exactly what I'm seeing. <laughs> it's the healing like that from all day today. That's all the healing I'm seeing. Awesome. Thank you so much. Because last week that we checked, he was um, having um, the, the, the lung issue. Yeah. But I believe, you know, gradually he has been improved a lot right now. Yeah. Especially since um, two days ago, they removed the um, breathing assistant. Yes. So he can breathe on his own. But he was That's really good. Yeah. Breathing yeah. very hard. That, that is good because some of these breathing assistants, if you have it too long, it's actually more damaging than good. To be right. honest. Usually yeah. that's when usually when pneumonia happens, when they yeah. have the machine on him. Yeah, because yeah. they put some medication as well, right? Okay. Thank you so much. And uh, your, your oh, mom, did you want yeah. your mom? What's going on with your mom? Um, the same thing as last week, actually, with the new lunar um, new year. So we get it together. So she was having the cramp as well. And it lasts about five to 10 minutes. And I tried to, you know, help him, to help her to um, massage, but it kind of, you know, the cramp is kind of whole body. So it's very hard to see her, you know, has to go going through that. And last October that we check on her, um, I believe Deb, you mentioned that the, she has um, diabetes and I told you no, but I just found out she just been diagnosed with diabetes. Yeah, I'm sorry. Cause she really like bread, you know, every morning she get used to her breakfast as a bread. So I told her that she has to, you know. Yeah, it wasn't like I was doing an omen. I, she had diabetes back then. Yeah. Was that a manifestation, Debbie? No. Okay. No. Good, but good, uh, good. No, because you, you saw the start. Mm. No, because you told us sometime, you know, when the symptom or um, it showed up, it might be in the future or it might be, you know, in the past. Yeah. But usually, you know, I heal things from the future so she doesn't get it. Okay. I wasn't trying to say she had it, but I, what I was saying is she had it then, but. Um, a lot of times, though, Deb, you got to change your path to stop it in the future. If you don't change your path, it's very hard to heal the future and carry on on that path. I was told when we became healers that we could heal something before it was mm. before it came in effect. So, is there anything that we can assist her with that? We're trying it now. Thank you. She got a bad back as well. Yes, she she um she. she she walked not very stably and very um like uh, wobbly. I think something to do with her spine, especially the lower part of this her spine. And I believe they injected her, you know, with some kind of something on her in her spine. And it's the injection was quite expensive. She told me like maybe two thousand, three thousand something. I don't know. And she has to do that once or twice a year. 
or something. Right, I've done my bit. I picked a card for her. She's got extra blessings off the guardian angel behind her. And awesome. three down. Is there anything that I can tell her to, you know, not to, like, I already told her not to eat bread or like cookie or something. Is there anything that I can you know, let her know so that she can improve or help herself? Because I've been sending her blessing every day. As a daughter, that's, you know, all I can do. How old is your mother? 75. Mm. But she has tons of surgery through her life. And she trusts the doctors, medical doctors, before she's going to trust anything spiritual, right? Um, no, I she ch- trust both. And I I did tell her that I'm going to, you know, ask the, the um, distant healing for her before I request it today. So I did text her and she said, thank you. I just told her to relax to you know be acceptable and receive the healing she said okay she's very spiritual too right. she yeah she she, she chan she's a buddhism so she chan and write the every day but since she was young she being you know start being operate because um, they diagnosed her with something so throughout her life she has several more than eight surgeries her back should be a bit better anyway because I've, I've got the energy from that uh, back so uh, should be an improvement on that whether it comes back or not it's up, sometimes it's up to the person yes it's, it's how you know sometimes you got to find out how did it where did it come from mm-hmm. to get rid of it to stop it yeah because i believe every time you know sh- when someone has a surgery their nerve system being cut out so their circulation is not as good as you know people who never had surgery so she's like a, a weather forecaster. Every time with the weather change, she knows ahead of time. I don't think she can change her. I don't think she he eats unhealthy. Um, maybe too much meat. Okay, I will let her know. Um, she should eat more seafood. Okay. Um, other than that, I, I don't see where she, I don't know why she would be a diabetic. It should have been gone. And then I think the father said, said um, this is something she asked to experience Mm. she can bring through healing herself by holding her hand her right is she right-handed yes her right hand on her heart because that's where the healing energy is okay she was a healer in past lives Mm. well i've tried to do i've tried to change the programming of the brain to make to try and reverse the uh diabetes because obviously the brain can do everything can do so Sometimes it's a bit lapsed, so I've tried to tell the brain to get a move on it. So anything, she doesn't, she doesn't eat unhealthy, really. She really doesn't. Yeah, well, it, sometimes it's the mechanism, make, make the body, in it? I think it's ancestral. Mm. Yeah, I've been trying to do, I'm do, cleaning the ancestral bloodline, you know, all lineages as well on a daily basis. No, Father said she did ask to experience this, so... Um, yeah, just have her hold her hand on her heart. I mean, her her uh, dominated her ne- her her dominant hand. If she's left handed, left hand, her right hand, and just have her do the the deep breathing and pull through this energy of healing because she was a healer before. Yeah, she also have um short breath, and she need to use the inhale inhaler constantly. Oh, she's got asthma or bron asthma. Mm-hmm. She can do small small ones just slowly slowly so it's not you know where she's not coughing just do slow ones she doesn't have to do really strong ones Mm -hmm. just where she focuses on her heart not on her breathing but just do slow ones and what she's i want her to focus on healing energy energy in her heart where her hands on there and that energy is coming through and and doing healing even have her heal herself of her her asthma Mm -hmm. And to, and let her know that she's had other lifetimes where she was a healer and she's still all these tools that she has in her heart are there to bring through that energy. She has all that. She has the skills, the knowledge is still in there you know, that, that she can do that. She's got this beautiful energy. She's got this beautiful aura. She does. She means the best. She means this, the best for everybody and, and her family. She's just very domineering. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and bossy <laughs> yeah but the on the other side i also appreciate that part of her because my father passed away when i was a 10 months old baby so she has to be strong you yes know? 
Yes. Yeah, that's, you know, also as a for her to become what she is today. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm the same way. <laughs> I'm very bossy and domineering and I had to learn to step back. And now, you know, now they think I'm too far removed, but they have wives now and I don't want to be, I want to be back away and let their wives. And that's, you know, I don't want to be the helicopter mom when they have wives. Because you want to be be balanced, you know, not too far from either side. What happened to Phil's, you know, camera? Your camera was kind of jumping and there's a different. It's energies. Yeah. (laughs) It is. I've got a visitor, so it's probably that. But she's she's really got a really beautiful heart and very well intentioned. Very, very well intentioned. Very well intentioned. Yeah. Thank you so much. I will let her know, and you know, I really, really appreciate what you have done for my uncle and my mom. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome, sweetheart. All right. Jackie. Yes, I think um, I had asked for a, a scan or a healing. Okie dokie. Do you want to scan or do you want me to tell you what my issues are or both? Whatever's comfortable for you, sweetie. Well, for the last month or so, I've been very, very dizzy. And for several months, I don't walk straight in a line. I just wobble like I'm a drunk person. And if I lean over, I'm really dizzy and I'm drinking plenty of water. I'm trying to. Um, Having heart palpitations sometimes and still losing weight, but it's the dizzy and can't walk straight. But and I'm still losing the weight. And I just, I don't want to lose any more weight. And well, I can tell you, I bend over and I'm dizzy. Some days I'm extremely dizzy. It's um, a problem. I, I'm having heart palpitations. It's all the energies. And it may not go away for a while. It may stay like this. The okay. weight loss, um, are you eating? Yes. I'm eating as much as I can. I'm, I mean, I will go to the bed and I keep cramming it in. And it's just like, mm, I can't stand it anymore. Um, I just... So are I have half. Are you eating three times a day? I eat my breakfast and then I eat my half of my lunch and then I eat my the rest of my lunch at night and that's all I can cram in right now. I'm trying. I'm pushing oh, okay. it in. Yeah, but, but I, mean, you're out. Not, I mean, you're not like skin and bones. No, no. Okay. Well, I wouldn't be concerned. You're drinking plenty of water. Yep. Yeah. I mean, you see anything or? Okay. I'm just asking questions and now I'm going to. Oh, sure, of course. Get out of your head. Get out of your head. Get out of your head. You're not sick. Stop manifesting it. I'm I'm being told stop manifesting that you're sick. (laughs) Oh, you'll end up being sick. Father's like, get out of your head. You raise your vibration, then you worry. You raise your vibration, then you worry. This energy is beautiful energy for all of us that are awake and aware. And then you worry about it. You get you you go up. You go 10 steps and you go back five. You go three steps, you go back two. Stop for me. There's nothing wrong with you. Nothing wrong with you. I'm telling you, I'm I'm dizzy. I lay down in bed to go to sleep and the room starts spinning just from laying down my on my head, my my head back on the pillow. It's like vertigo. It is. And I yes. know exactly that it's energies because okay. Yeah. Well, be careful. You can manifest stuff just by worrying over what you could, what you haven't got. That you think you might have, you can create it. Exactly. True. We're creators. We're creators. True. True. Rick said the other day, he's like, oh my God, I'm so dizzy. I'm going to bed. I'm sick. But no, you're not. <laughs> but go ahead, go to bed. <laughs> you gotta ridiculous. do you gotta do some it's DIY. Just, <laughs> it's just ridiculous. I mean, it's just and I, I walk up the street with my neighbor and I think she thinks I'm drunk, but I'm not, you know, because I'm weaving. Yeah. So it is, and the energies are going to get stronger because we want to wake these people that F up, wake up, wake up, wake up. And we got to keep our vibration high because we, that's also helping wake them up. That's all it is. Okay. And then of course, I still have my neuropathy that I'm working with and join the, join, join the sisterhood. Yeah. I'm working with that. So I'm just hoping for a positive outcome on that. Any messages about a positive outcome? What did I talk to you about? You asked for it. Oh, yeah. You told me that. Oh. So did I. It sucks. I there. just want to make it a little better. Then. If I can make it better than it was. Put your hand over your heart. Use your tool chest. You're also a healer. You are. You're a healer. You're a beautiful healer. You don't even need us. But I do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> you don't need us. But I want you. <laughs> yeah. I want you too. 
Okay. All righty. Well, thank you very much. Unless you can think of anything else. Oh, there's like, get out of your head. Get out of here. Get out of there. Get in here. Yeah. It's okay. You're okay. You're more than okay. Okay. Give, okay. My, boy, give my boy a kiss. Mwah. He's sleeping peacefully. <laughs> and breathing nicely. Good. Doing great. We'll be close by soon. Yes. We need to talk about that, but yes. I know. Yeah, great. I know. I but know. You, but not tomorrow because you'll be recuperating. So you you let me know when you want to talk. This week. Okay, great. All right. All righty. I think we have, oh, you can get a card from. Um, I get a card, please. Please, a card. One that, said, that says, don't get out of your head. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Say stop. Oh, stop. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Stop. <laughs> I, I did. I did pick an Alice, Al, Alistair Crowley card, and it says, "Stop worrying. You're worrying. Stop okay. worrying." Okay. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> and the uh, oracle cards, the angels are saying, "Children." And guess what that means? You know I'm worrying I mean? about my children. <laughs> no, don't. Worry. No, it doesn't. Honor your inner child and have some fun. Oh, oh, have, okay. Have some Follow fun. my inner child. Yeah, have some fun. Okay. Go to your next door neighbor and do lock and run. <laughs> no, I don't think it means that. I used to do that as a child. Okay. Thank you very much, all three of you. Come down. Davina, I didn't miss you. I did see you. Davina wants a scan and a healing. Yeah, because my, okay, I'll let you guys scan first. <laughs> your stomach? Your back again. Your stomach. My back. Uh, it's, should... called, it's the worry and the stress of the people around you. You're keeping hold of it. And it's it's uh, it's uh, feeding your back the pain. Your weak points get fed by your stress. So yeah. you say because I'm worried about my surrounding, about the people. Yeah, because my lower back is kind of like not my body. And yesterday I went to the beach, but I'm walking, but I feel like the leg is not mine. It's kind of like something like the car needs the alignment, like the, yeah, the body. Your left leg. Your left leg. My yes, my left, my l- left leg, but it affects the whole body, and I feel like it's kind of derailed or not in the right place or position. That's how I feel. And earlier, I didn't want it, didn't plan to request a healing for myself, but I was sitting here and I keep feeling like my butt really hurts. So I said, okay, might as well, you know, request for my healing. See, I see what's wrong. It looks like a black marble in her right next to her root chakra right to right by the tailbone there's like a black marble yeah that's the place that it really hurts and even though it was the left leg but now i feel like the right leg affect more and having more painful than the left leg so it's kind of tilted and i did you know stretch and stress was yeah davina can you feel that energy can't feel it some people can't do you ever feel energy he, he doesn't know he blocked I want to feel, if you can unblock that, that would be wonderful. Is the pain going down now? Mm-hmm. It has been reduced, but still feel like, like something's there. That's how I feel. You're looking for the pain now. I don't think I've ever stayed in front of these. I usually leave. Hmm? We started out with 12 people. It's taken Jackie, this Jackie, you're on, you know, thank you. Oh, there. <laughs> 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 you forgot to mute. We, it, you're muted now. Okay. The pain go. It's reduced, but still there. Okay, Is that better. I think she's doing a run. <laughs> huh? I think you're doing a run just to get it out. Yeah, I tried it to stretch it mm. to let the 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 circulation flow. Oh, that should be quite a lot better now. Yeah. Yes. You go and run around the block and do a live feed first. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mm. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Don't forget, seven days, it'll be there, the energy. Drink a lot of water, brush your water. I sure will. Thank and you so much. You're welcome. welcome. What are you trying to say? Me, um, get, get a card. Oh. I bet I watched the football the last half hour. Not by then. Tell us when. Now. 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 Is that stop now? I don't like stop. I like now. Okay. Uh, I've given you two. The first one is... Uh, What's an horse with an horn in it? Uh, I can't remember. <laughs> what? Oh, I see. Well, you wear a lot. You've got one of them, enchantment and trust. 
Yeah. Do you know who he is? I don't know. And Chairman and Trust. Yeah, it, it's one with your name. One with the, the one with unicorns? Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a unicorn. I forgot the word. Uh, enchantment. Connect with your inner child and have some magic. Yeah. And trust with all. Don't be too difficult for yourself. There's le lessons to be learned. Just trust yourself. Okay. Okay. There yes. Thank you. Info and love. Welcome. Thank you. Info and love and gratitude to all. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Thank you. Pat, I haven't seen you in years. Did you want a healing? She's asleep. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Next. I was just muted for a second here. There you go. Hi. How are you, everyone? Good. How are you? Very good. Been forever. Yeah. Well, what was it? A year and a half, probably. It's got to be longer than that. Um, I haven't been on Hooklo and we haven't been on Hooklo, what, two, three years? At least two. Really? Yeah. Oh, well, it's like yesterday for me. <laughs> I know time has no meaning. <laughs> We've been doing these healing webinars with Phil four years this year. So it's been a long time since we've been on Hooklo. Yeah, yeah I, I, I admire your uh, energy. You, you seem like you've been a doctor or something uh, sometime. <laughs> and I was thinking, uh, I, was thinking I, I couldn't do that. I, I can't, I couldn't do that. I didn't think I could ever either, but um, yeah. I don't like blood, but yeah, I can see everything now. <laughs> well, it's just red cells, no, and white cells. <laughs> I don't know. So... <laughs> You're here for um, healing. What's going on? Uh, I I was having uh, this chest pain since like um, probably twenty years, and I was I never asked what what caused it. I know there were some heartbreaks, but um, once it started, uh, it never. I mean, I'm working a lot on it, and uh, I never wonder what was it uh, physically and energetically. Uh, um, did we heal you from your heart before? No, I never asked for this. So I'm, I, I was just thinking what, you know. Has um, ancestral, has anybody died of heart disease in your family? Oh, yes. Uh, my, my, my mother, probably she had some heart things. Because yeah. uh, you do have, uh, actually you do have def defects in your heart. So let's repair that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I I also I cannot I I do some I try to do at least daily jogging and but I can't run. Uh, Are you um, out of breath a lot? Mm, I'm I'm getting tired fast. Because I just relax. Um, we had a couple of valves that are um I'm concerned with, so we're gonna make we're gonna do some healing. I don't know if you can see that, Phil. And the heart muscle itself has some time. Yeah. Has some I'm time going to the eleven chakra to try and sort it out. Okay. You may feel some energy. Yeah, I feel, I feel it, yeah. Feeling something in your throat, too. Do you, having, like, you've got, like, a, pol a polyp in your throat. Do you feel anything in your throat? In my throat? I have it since I was a kid. Yeah, there's a, a remove it. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't stand uh, t-shirts on my, on my neck here, like, tight. I could, I felt, like, suffocating. Yeah. My heart is, is doing uh, good. Yeah. I've, I've released, he lost some trauma from a child, childhood there as well. That's been released. Around your throat, around the throat. In the heart chakra. No, the heart. Yeah, the heart. Yeah, your heart chakra has had some release. Yeah, I could feel it very, very good. Uh, I felt the healing uh, of the energy. It, it felt like you're pulling out the weeds. And replacing it with, uh, with some green energy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel also on the throat. Yeah, that's gone now. Releasing, you have some stress. Yeah, I, I had that, and I realized I have this on the throat uh, um, when I start working with me, and then I made the connection why I had those. Uh, uh, I couldn't ha have anything touching my throat here. I was and the then same I, when I was little. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It, it was, and I. I, I feel it. I still, there's still a lot there. Um, but uh, what I really like, uh, 
about these healings that you do and uh, uh, I like that I can contribute and I can assist and make it even it's like I'm taking the healer by hand and we walk a journey together yeah we're it's, all uh, healers. we all feel the energies we can all do this together it's right exactly right we're all part of it yeah and it feels it I, and this is the moment when I feel this unity this one thing mm -hmm. yeah yeah I'm having some tears now but it's okay <laughs> it's okay yeah release all those you release all those old emotions because they don't you, they don't they're not yours anymore just let them go With all that negative you know. yeah <sighs> you don't need any longer just breathe feel that love coming through i put a lot of love energy around your throat after i released the polyp i also think it was from a past life um you had some trauma from a past life regarding your throat so I was releasing that too. The throat and the heart chakra might be linked. To that yeah. Being told. Well, I, I've got told that uh, I was hanged in the past life. Yeah, that has a lot to do with it too. So I went back there. Yeah, it's. Um, I find it very disturbing that just one hanging this thing. But it wasn't uh, just well, a hanging. It wasn't just a hanging. There was another life where you. You had, um, you were actually a child, and uh, which is why when you were a little boy, that affected you there. Um, you were strangled as a little boy, so you there was there there were a couple of traumatic lives, and we we've had many many lives, but there are certain things that come with, you know, come back to us, and when it, 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 it does affect your yeah, chakra as well. Yes. Yeah. 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 And the, the the worst of it is that uh, I think they compound in life. The trauma, you don't realize it, and then it compounds itself. And then you get here in uh, and just 2023 with the, well, the energy. Remember, we've got all these timelines all happening at the same time. Even though we think that that lifetime is a long time ago, it's happening. And, you know, it's sometimes that it, it bleeds over. So is something oh, no. everything, everything yeah. is happening now. Yes, everything is. So you know, it, some danger in energy, everything is happening now. Yeah. But if something happened in the past, in energy is happening now. Yeah. So it, it went into this life. And so we're, you know, we just need to release it. We're we're looking at it. And I went back and did healing on that, released the trauma. You felt the loving energy and yes, yes. <laughs> It's gone. It's not yours to carry in this life. Neither one of them were. Very good. Very good. Very good connecting here. Yeah. How's your for throat feel? Um, much more or less. Much more or less. But I, I felt it. I felt more the chakra, the the, the heart. heart. Yeah. Heart chakra. Good. Heart. That's that's even better. You want two oracle cards, by the way. Two oracle cards. Got two angelic cards to show you what your journey is about to be. Okay, just say stop. Stop. Uh, new beginnings. Hmm. Oh, excellent. <laughs> yeah, so embrace all, of, all that is new opportunities, friends, projects, and children. Is it children? Yeah. Children, honor your inner child. Have some fun on your journey. So, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Quite good cards, am I? Yeah. <laughs> uh, excellent. Super good. Super good. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You. You're welcome. Good to see you. Sarah. Good to connect. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sarah, did we? No. Hi, Sarah. Did you need a healing? Hi. You know, it's funny. Um, I, I'm here just because I just love you guys so much and I'm enjoying <laughs> just being in the energy and everything. And mm. so I was just going to just hold space and just send some good vibes. And then with Kat just now talking about the, and then what came up with the past life thing. So I guess I should ask you, um, I, I know of two lifetimes where I had my head cut off um, and I have a hypothyroid situation. So I just was wondering, um, you know, I'm ready to get healing for that. And uh, maybe I'm feeling kind of insecure about asking for help, but maybe that's why I'm here today. So oh, yeah, why are you? Yeah, I I I cut off on the right. <laughs> oh man, back by, by, by a twin flame sort of thing. 
Oh, wow. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's, it's very fun. weird. Mm. Okay, let's relax. <sighs> Were you at Salem? The witch hunts of Salem? Pro possibly, yeah. yeah. That feels about right. Yeah. The Elizabeth. Is this an Elizabeth? <laughs> Not a Salem. Salem. Sorry. No. Salem, Massachusetts. No, you were here. Burnley. Elizabeth at Burnley. Well, no, I I that she'd been to two places, two different ones. It wasn't it wasn't just one that she had her head cut off. This is hanging, I'm all like, which is not far off the same. So what what Henry the Eighth, one of Henry the Eighth's wives? Yeah. I didn't want to say it because it's you know, it's a historical figure, so I felt kind of weird about saying no. it. No, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so the ones I know of are um, Mary Queen of Scots and then Anne Boleyn. So in no. the tower and had the head cut off and all that. You weren't Mary Queen of Scots. I think you were Anne. Okay. But you're also. I'm um, getting more. I'm getting a few. It's, you've had quite a lot of times when you've had uh, either hanging or it's cut off. Oh, man. It's a bit like an ongoing thing. <laughs> like a oh, recycle. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> No more. You must, you must just like getting your neck damaged, too. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> hmm. I'm feeling the energy. Just it's like you guys, the, the vibe I see, like kind of a, like a light. And it just it's just coming like this and then blowing past me. And it's just like taking all of this junk away. Thank you so much. It feels really good. Yeah. Well, another life. I'm getting a little... When I said Elizabeth before, there was a, a witch that got hanged at Lancaster mm. uh, or Burnley-ish. And I'm getting that life in you. Yeah. Wow. So we'll try and release these because it's not doing you any good, is it? Mm -hmm. I'll try and go to some of these lives and collect your soul fragment with, and bring it back mm. to your over soul. Mm, thank you. I release all things that no longer serve me. Wow, I'm feeling nice heat, nice heat in my heart chakras and my hands and my feet. Oh, wow. It's like a, a bolt of energy I can see going through you, which is the healing going on. Oh. Mm. Yeah, because when you die that way, um, is there like the trauma that's that was? Because I see that it's it's really cleared or clearing so much right now. Um, see, but I also overanalyze things. I don't really need to do that. <laughs> I need to be in the heart space a little more. The thinking, yeah, you know, get out of here, get into your heart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. If you think about we your over soul, to, we all do that. And your yeah. over soul's got that memory, that trauma memory, and it's coming mm. into each life. Yeah, uh, and this way it should stop. So at least two of your fragments have come back to your over soul. So it'll wow. start your over soul start healing now. So. Thank you so much, you guys. Oof. Wow. Yeah. You can feel it, can't you? you can feel it releasing. Mm -hmm. It feels amazing. <sighs> My video is looking good. <laughs> Go all weird then. <sighs> yeah, the other thing is that trauma would, would have done something with the heart chakra as well. That's why you could feel it there. Oh, wow. Because it's like you're grieving over past lives. Mm -hmm. You want two cards? Yes, please. Okay, stop. Stop. Divine guidance. Celebration. Ooh. Actually, they look quite similar, the cards. Isn't that weird? Yeah. They actually I'm do sure. look, don't they look similar? <laughs> wow, it's like the same. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Divine guidance. You are being guided to follow your intuition, mm. which you've just done that. <laughs> your intentions in changing your life are coming. Ooh, yeah. thank so, you. Yeah. Well, that's good. Wow. Ah. Thank you. Bless all of you Welcome. and your beautiful hearts and your intention and your willingness. Ah, love you so much. <laughs> you too. I'm you too. That is it for today and the month of January. I want to thank everybody for your beautiful light today, for sharing your light with us. And we uh, will have our schedule out for February in the next week or so. Uh, anyone that wants to join our mailing list, please email uh He'll teach love at gmail.com and I will add, I will add you and you'll get our email every month letting you know the dates for our healing events. We also post it on our what's our website for Facebook? <laughs> Bill. <laughs> <laughs>